Hello everyone and welcome back to this fantastic new video going out on the channel for Sapien Sun. Welcome. Uh, today we're basically going to be finishing up the prologue of the Witcher 3 universe uh, here in White Orchard. We've gone and uh, we've defeated the Griffin. We've gone around the map and kind of cleared everything, all the uh, ghoul uh, piles and nests, exploded those, the side quest, the missing brother, all that type of thing, uh, even the Witcher quest, um, the, uh, the what's it called, the uh, woman by the well, or whatever that is, you know, when the, we went to that village, didn't we? And we found out at uh, the lovely lady, who was the wife of, say, the, uh, the lovely couple that lived there, and they moved out there because they're having trouble with it. I'm having to sum it up all the time. I'm having to sum up it all the time, so... Is that good summation? Is that fine? Okay, now we're going to have to do all that. and we, We're good. We're finished and everything. It's, it's been lovely. And now we're going to have to go off and uh, we're going to talk to the commander right now in chief, right behind us. And, uh, yeah, see, see where uh, everything goes from there. So, uh, without further ado, uh, yes. here we go. Wish to enlist, Nordling. Nordling. Did you miss me? Make way. Fuck you. <laughs> okay, here we are. What the oh, hell is this? Roy! You take what me the? for a blind man or a fool? This grain is rotten. I, I, I didn't know. So, a fool. Damn it, you never know. Military Codex, Article 2, Section 3. For the delivery of defective goods, 15 lashes with a knout. Make it so. No, no, no! By the gods, no! What the fuck is a nout? What's he said? Nout. What? Uh. <laughs> no more Captain Nice Guy. I don't think I don't think he was portraying. He's Nilfgaard. They're all strict as fuck like that. It's, it's basically like going to um, Germany. Uh, you know, prior to not during not during said war. No, <laughs> God forbid. Just the, the whole anyway. Uh, what are we talking about? What are we talking about? Okay. Guess you've dropped your good uncle act. It was no act. I extended a hand to these people. They spat on it. Could it be because it held the sword that killed their loved ones? Tja, a moralist. And what would you do in my stead? Wouldn't ever be in your stead. Tell me why you've come. Well, <laughs> I don't much like your tone, Mr. Fucking Cranky Pants. But uh, I killed the griffin, done some stuff. I really hope I don't hear that dude getting lashed. It's CD Project Red. Uh, okay, whatever. I killed the Griffin. Uh, it was very hard, very lovely, but uh, I'm here. Fulfilled my end of the bargain. Your turn. Where'd Yennefer go? To Vizima. She was a day's ride from here the whole time? Under my nose? Might have said so. Yes, I might have. But you would not have killed the Griffin. Tit for tat. Tit. <laughs> halt! We are not done. It's yours, this gold. I would not want you to say you were inadequately compensated. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna take the coin. I'm not that proud. <laughs> what? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh! 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 I heard that. That got me. I felt that. <laughs> Alright, prepare to leave White Orchard with Vesemir. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna leave. And um, by the way, if you do go and check online and on YouTubes and uh, TikTok, wherever you're gonna get your little videos from, um, please go and check out that because they actually do count through 15. And I generally think that's kind of like a massive plus. I mean, not the not the situation that's going on there. God forbid. God, God forbid. Um, no, but the actual like going through and having that because most people just have them fuck off after the cutscene. CD Projekt really didn't. So go and uh, buy uh, Phantom Liberty, the new DLC coming out for Cyberpunk 2077, and you will always have love from me to you. <laughs> Too much? I don't know. I've got to sell it. It's fantastic. I love CD Brother Red. They're very good. Now, uh, we're going to go off, and I think I've done everything. I've got the Viper kind of schools. 
the silver sword, uh, the uh, steel sword, of course, got that lovely stuff. I've upgraded my um, jacket to the warrior's jacket, or from the warrior's jacket, and upgraded that. And at the moment, it's yeah, it's, it's kind of nice. Um, we're going to come back, of course. I kind of like uh, White Orchard. It's very picturesque. It's, it's like going down to Devon in the 1600s. It's lovely. I mean, I personally wish that most of these people didn't have my accent, which is very peculiar. But that's perfectly fine, isn't it there, darling? That's right. Don't worry about it. And then uh, over here to my left, we helped uh, Grandmother Pan. Uh, maybe uh, with a guy with from... Sorry. <laughs> with a guy with a monocle. Uh, and we uh, might see him later on. Maybe. Do we? I kind of know who it is. If you go from Witcher 1 and 2, I'm going to say it's Taller. Uh, I, think he, I think he's a spy. Huh? Is he a spy? I don't know what his job is. His profession. I just I just know him from Witcher 2. 1. Witcher 1. <laughs> I don't know. I promise you I don't know. I'm just shooting shoot the shit as it were. Um, right. Here we are. So we got to go back to the inn. Now I'm expecting some sort of fight, boss battle or twist. That's basically it really. Uh, we've gone and got the Witcher gear. Okay. Because one of the Witcher dudes kind of got... Oh we have to go inside. Okay. Cat, you're gonna you're gonna piss me off. Cats are magic, but they do hate Geralt. Is it because you have the same eyes? Territorial? <laughs> you never know. Right, okay, enough lollygagging. Let's go in. Uh hello. Where's it? Why are there so many weirdos in here? Why is everyone stood there like okay. Bizner, what's up, buddy? Jennifer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so. Something wrong? Look around. Trouble brewing. Uh-huh. I mean... I mean, come on, let's be real. Are you just profiling them, Geralt? Uh, Vesemir? Are you profiling them? It's, it's okay. Don't worry. It's okay. You're old. I understand. Don't worry about it. Time we were on our way. <laughs> mm-hmm. Very cautious, is Vesemir. The journey. Then we'll go. Geralt. We should stay out of it. Just this once. Hmm. Maybe we should. I mean, the new, as I said in the first video, I think that uh, the whole neutrality of uh, the Witcher 3... The Witcher, sorry. What happened to the lilies? Is BS. Took them down. Took them down to hang a golden sun there now. I cannot show Temerian colours. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fond of the Imperials? You Nilfgaard's whore! How rude. I'll let that pass. Don't give her... grief eats at your heart. You no know shit. They hang my sister, dragged her out the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition. That they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let my sister go. to the birth, and you don't fear the God's wrath. You don't fear it, you cunt! Leave me be! Are you fucking kidding me, lads? You just seen her get beat the fuck? Because of bullshit. This medallion. You know what it means. Back off. You all right? They Come on, love, chin up. That's true. No. What the Emperor promised you, freaks? Your own land, like he did the elves once. He yeah, offered us are. nothing except we a fistful of heavenly might against your chin of heavenly delights. I will punch you. Or something, I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's my poetry type of thing, you know? Sorry. Now, you're about to see the harrowing. Bye. Yes, and now you're about to see what actual human beings look like when they go up against the Witcher. I'm not. I'm not trying, by the way. I just want to know. I'm not trying at all. It's all right. It's over. Leave me be. Get away. Why are you helping her up, Geralt? She just slammed the innkeeper. The only fucking decent chick here. Face. God save us! Be gone, and don't ever come back. 
Uh, okay, we just landed in the land of pussies, apparently. They can... Jesus so much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. Oh, but it's fine if I get my head smashed in by an angry mob, but God forbid I defend myself. <sighs> oh, for fuck's sake. That brawl, we didn't start it. Oh. Oh. Raven hair. Excuses, Black and white. Excuses. You've not changed a bit. Y Yen? How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Well, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. Wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? He didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. Why, yeah, why Vizima? I imagine... Right, so he, she, you're in Vizima, you're probably doing some stuff. And then... Okay, yeah, yeah, sure, whatever. It's all good, man. What's what is the rush? Why Vizima? Vizima is the center, the capital, wherever it is. What's the rush? Spent the last six months in the saddle. Haven't seen you for two years. Can we take a moment? Sadly, to... we cannot. Someone awaits you, Geralt. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys, or to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. And I number among that group. For as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Did he call himself that? Uh... Now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse. I didn't. Though I could have. Hmm. Wonder what he offered you. I do. I, I do actually wonder that. I do. So, uh, I do want to know what he wanted to do. Go on, I'm curious. Must have been a damn good offer then. Not many things you'd give up your freedom for, and even fewer people. The sooner we set off, the sooner you'll find out. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Caremore, remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Fezimir. See you soon. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. Nice. Nice. <laughs> and I just got a lovely achievement called the Lilac and the Gooseberries. Oi, Vesemir. Oi, Papa V. Oh, man. I am actually going to miss him. I am going to miss him. He's kind of like a grouchy, but such a kind soul that it just kind of works together like an old grandpa. Just, I kind of like it. It's, a very, it's fantastic. Lovely. Right. Now, as we go to see... Uh, I mean, come on. Let's be real. I've just got invited to see the Emperor. That's just... Oh, well, oh, just flex. Just pop the collar and be like, yeah! <laughs> Although I do believe that he is a massive wanker. You know. So... I had a dream about you recently. Mm. Knowing you, it was probably filthy. Just the beginning. But then... But then... Uh... Whoa. Uh... Run! Seriously, you couldn't hear that for ten seconds ago. <laughs>
Jennifer, how they shall talk of this tomorrow, all right? After the audience. Okay. Bezima, capital of occupied Samaria. Okay. That was a pretty good cutscene. I quite like that. I actually felt the fear in Yennefer and uh, Geralt as they were running away. And by the way, that was the Wild Hunt. Um, the Witch, of course, Witcher 3, the Wild Hunt. And I can't wait to kick the shit out of them. Lovely. Hello. Look at his face. Oh, that's it, darling. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit lower. No, 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 you... Bye. Bye, pixel ladies. Bye. Hmm. It must suffice. Indeed. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. <laughs> the Get gentleman will girl. be seated on the berger. The what now? In that chair. Berger. <laughs> berger. I'm going to Google if that's actually French Catherine, or not, by the please way. Please shave the gentleman sideburns to half an inch. Oi, I happen to like the beard. It looks good, distinguished. Very, very, very manly. I very like it. Very good, very good. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> I happen to like said Bill. What's wrong with my beard? I always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. Been Whoa. A while. Fine. Do your thing. Ew. Tilt Bitch. your head back, please. And sit still. Hang on a minute. I just got verbally fucking backhanded. You said I've got lice in my beard. What's that? And prepare to answer some questions. Oh, for fuck's sake. General, I, I am not certain this is the appropriate time. I can't think of a better time. Men turn honest when they feel a blade at their throat. Movran Vuris, commander of the Alba division. Before they take you in to see the Emperor, there's some information I need you to verify. It's a formality, but one that must be seen to. Sure. Paperwork's gotta be in order. So, Geralt of Rivia. Place of birth, unknown. Parents, unknown. Age, unknown. All insignificant details. Let us proceed to more recent events. The siege of La Valette Castle. The fate of the defending commander, one Arian. Uh, okay. Uh, right, that's in, not which one was it? Which you two? Okay, I'm with you. I'm with you. Right, uh, I killed Arian during the siege. Just happened that way. Now this is this is that this is cool too. So basically, you're on the top, right, and you have like, basically like you're battling him in some sort of like uh, duel. Um, and the top of this, uh, I don't know what these words are when it comes to castle motifs. So I'm not even going to bother. Top of the castle, big thing, little battle. You can either spare him or not. And if you spare him, he he burns the castle to the ground. If not, obviously he dies, and it's very sad. I'm going to say you spared him because it's awesome, and that's the only reason I. That's the only reason I need. We fought on opposing sides, true. Then we landed in the same dungeon. Arian escaped, set fire to the castle on his way out. So that is how the blaze started. Our reports suggested the dragon was responsible. Moving on. You then found shelter in charming Flotsam, and from there made your way to Virgo. My question is how? Hmm. Did it? Okay, see, the thing is, I don't know what I would do, you see. Vernon Roach, I don't... I don't really like Vernon Roach. And, uh, but he did save my life. And Yurveth... You know what? Yurveth or... I, I think I'd have preferred to help Yurveth myself. Because I kind of like that whole type of thing, really. I like being the underdog. I don't like being in Flotsam with Vernon Roach. With his full team of, like, SAS type of fuckers. No, 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 no. I, I joined uh, I Yorvith. left Flotsam with Yorvith, commander of a square tell unit. A slayer of monsters and a slayer of men. You forge interesting alliances. Something tells me my most interesting is yet to come. Go on, next question. 
before my beard grows back in. We shall shave you again if it does. Very well. The infamous summit at Loch Muin. You were there. And once again meddled in the affairs of the mighty. I don't like your tone. Uh, help to save Triss. Help your... I, again, Triss, uh, the entire notion. I, I, I want it known. Uh, right now, without any do going forward, I will be going and uh, romancing Yennefer, naturally. Um, and to be fair, like during the whole thing, she says she's like to. Anyway, we're gonna go with Yorveth all the way. Not at all. I meddled in a personal affair, helped Yorveth lift the spell that held Saskia. Yes, and in doing so, gave Radovid a reason to begin his witch hunts. Congratulations. Nilfgaard recently started a war, unprovoked. So do us both a favor and stop moralizing. The gentleman must sit still. I'm almost done. I'm afraid I might find that difficult. Because, from what I know, shortly afterwards you watched a defective megascope blow your friend Sheila de Tansoville to bits. Sheila escaped. God was coming to her. Um... Did she live or did she die? Did she live or did she die? You know what, bugger it. We're not going to save every fucker. No, she died. I watched her. Oh, she escaped. Scope, sorry, sorry. I wanted to kill her. Ultimately freed her. Ah, the trap your man Letho of Gullet had set. Write that down. I want to be sure the paperwork's in order now. Well, national interest calls on one to forge difficult alliances at times. Alliances with witches included. <laughs> that alliance is dead. See, I kill. Nah, nah, nah. We ain't killing nobody. We didn't kill Letho. No, 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 no. That's not happening. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but we don't, we're not killing Letho. That's just. That's not even a Witcher thing. No, no. no. Got an ongoing alliance. What's Letho up to? I had hoped you would answer that question. Ah, so Letho's hiding from you. Must have a good reason. Was there a shift in national interest that might have caused that? I don't know where he is. Wouldn't tell you if I did anyway. Blade or no blade to my throat. I believe that is all. Your signature, please, affirming you stated the whole truth and nothing but the truth on pain of imprisonment or death, etc., etc. Here and here. With these formalities seen to, I would ask the general to leave the room. We shall be choosing the gentleman's attire. An important matter, but one that does not require the general's assistance. Shame. I might have given you some advice. So long, Geralt. Good luck with your audience. Thank you. What a strange man. Only, that's the only thing I could think of right then. Or just a strange man. I, don't know. I, I always, I always get like kicked out. Ready for a wedding. Oh, were that so, scars. I would have prepared the gentleman a frock, a tail coat, or possibly a dinner jacket. In point of fact, the gentleman will choose from these garments. He's put a lot of effort this uh, Emir Va M race uh, in my clothing, making sure I'm washed, interrogated. This is a lot to do. I'm just saying. Black, black, or black. We do not like garish colors in Nilfgaard. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. Okay, it's uh, prom night and uh, time for me to pick my tuxedo. Um, kind of digging this. I feel it's the same as this. And I don't like whatever's going on with the color rolling on here. Uh, so this one? There we go. <laughs> but then again, you could always keep the robe. That's, you know, I can do that too. So, yes. Zab's the two armor. <laughs> I'll tell you what. If anything comes at the back end of this game, because we are on death march, but I sell it, I don't care. I, I, I will, like, kill a boss. I, I'm thinking about killing a huge boss. Like, I don't know, uh, a cockatrice or something like that, just with a bath towel on. <laughs> Go kill Imre. <laughs> Go kill uh, your Imre. Imre. 
Whoever the wild hunt guy is, I'll go kill him with it with a fucking tail. That'd be genius. Now look at me. Good. Beautiful. Pert little ass. Lovely chiseled jaw. Nice musculature. I look sexy as hell. Let's go meet the bloody emperor. And they say clothes do not make the man. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? <laughs> yeah, it's just, I'm just going to go with this. Okay. A studded doublet and a sword on my back. That's what would satisfy me. But tough. When in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the north and south. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. North and south. I don't like the, the presumptions of some fucking wank. Uh, okay, whatever. He's, if you're an emperor, you're, you're entitled to have some fucking ego issues. That's fine. But I'm not a bore. I know how to kneel. I'm not some bore. I know how to bow. Please, demonstrate. Uh, okay. That, sir, is how you might bow to a whore on a street corner. Not to the Emperor of Nilfgaard. Please watch. Leg extended. Hand flat. Head down. Chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Uh... Left leg back. Le left leg forward, right hand on shit. Yes. Hmm. Lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. Ah. Uh, okay. I'm actually, the this is the thing, I, the pomposity the of these bastards is actually to, starting to get... And using the appropriate title. Your arch magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the emperor might not share his disposition. Your majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Understood. Now, there is a saying that Geralt does not bow before any man. And I, and I know, I know I'm going to have to bow. Bow. Oh, for fuck's sake, fine. Let's not make waves. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Avelian namen, wat kan vervoort. Uh, okay. Come back, please. Don't I leave me here with Charles Dance. Before no man. Didn't want to disappoint the Chamberlain. We're friends. Oh Take man! You didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days. So silence. Charles, fucking Cirilla, dance. She's returned, and she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will oh, find look her at her little face. Me. Uh, she's back. You sure? Are you sure? Siri left, went far, far away. Do you believe I drag you here in the middle of a war to discuss a rumor? I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. Or correct. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yennefer will do that after the audience. Yeah, okay, okay, fine. <laughs> All right, fine, okay. I'm, I'm doing it for Cirilla, but that, that photo of her with a scrunch to that face, is just, that's just, oh, that's adorable. Lovely. How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, 
as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless, if for no other reason than because I shall pay you more than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. You know, for this beautiful angel over my uh, left shoulder, I'll do it. Save your generosity for those whose homes your armies have raised. I'll do it for Siri, not for your gold. Your motives do not interest me, only results. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meririd! Take him to the sorceress. Meririd? Such a beautiful name for such a lovely lady. Charles Dance. They couldn't have gotten a better voice actor, really. Please keep close. There are many honorable guests in the palace whom the gentleman disgusts. Need not bother. <laughs> the biting uh, sarcasm of Geralt is just, it's just right. It's like having a more grittier version of Chandler not the best. Yourself. What? Do you know who you're talking to, soldier? Yes, Your I'm Herevard the second, Prince of Elanda. Not only am I made to wait here like some supplicant, but with who for company? A tinter. Tanner. Master of the Tanner's Guild? As if it makes a damn difference. I demand! Calm down. The Emperor demands silence. Those who disturb face harsh punishment, no matter their birth. <laughs> Get fucking told. <laughs> Lovely. The scene as far as Novigrad? Yeah. A name. Rad sleeten eh enekt es tun es is sour on name fire. Es is seed F sat. F thinks her name Matt. I do love walking through a fantastic, lovely, massive hall where every single person there is talking shit around me. Right. Hello, Mm. Is it okay that as a witcher or as being Geralt of Rivia, I take personal, I, not personal, but you know what I mean? But like, I feel like I'm slighted as well when someone says the north. Okay, come see you. No issues whatsoever. Quill sharpened yet? Yes. Then transcribe. True authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchants guild, but the church of the eternal fire and the criminal underworld. At times right. it is difficult Ooh. to tell the one from the other. They both display a similar ruthlessness and cynicism that- Please wait, your excellency. I'm falling behind. You know what? I'll write the report myself. You'll need only prepare a clean draft in triplicate. A shame Understood. I have no time. Geralt, that tunic, you look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've Pardon? matters to attend to. Is she coming on to me? Now do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Uh-huh. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. Hmm. Oh, she's very, very lovely. Very cute face and stuff. It's very lovely. And uh, so there are... How about that? She's grown up. It's Aww. been years since you trained together at Kaer Morn. A great deal has changed. You haven't. Not a bit. I missed those awkward compliments of yours. But let's focus on Siri, all right? Right. Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri. Using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. 
I knew the Wild Hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd tricked them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt. Before the Wild Hunt does. Hmm. Okay. I like I, I like Cirilla as a character, and uh, I know a bit about the books, so... It's, has it got a little bit somber? Very serious tones now. Very serious. So where is Siri? And, uh... See, the thing is, I'm, I'm gonna sum it up better than I can do there. Siri is, uh, she's got elder blood, which means she's kind of got a lineage going back to, uh... Dara... Dara Moore, Dara... Or whoever it is. Goes back to... <laughs> goes back to Rhiannon. Very powerful. She was an elf. And, uh, made beautiful love with this human she fell in love with, all the rest of it. And, uh, yeah, she has powers, okay? Basically, really sensitive powers there. And she can travel through time and all this other shit. <laughs> She's a superhero, basically. She's amazing. So where has Siri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Go on. Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. Before we part, why didn't you contact me? It was two years, and I do want to know the information, so go ahead. One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Yen, I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? It's a pretty good one. Let's drop it, all right? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. Love, I just was fucking dead. I lost my memory, and the first fucking woman with titties wanted to jump my bones the second I was breathing. I'm flesh and blood, love. <laughs> Let me be. <laughs> and besides, as Letho said, weren't you like cheating with me with all of the witches on his side of the Not table? My preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Velen, get you there at once? Not no. gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and you really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roamed the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. Okay. And Geralt. Okay. I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me in one piece. Aww. I shall be waiting. You're a very nurturing shrew, but you're my nurturing shrew. There she is. Oh, my lovely little ass queen. Oh, I shall melt your heart. Oh, right. Fantastic. So I am biased, but anyway, if you read the books or what have you like that, you know how much in love uh, Geralt is with Yennefer. Um, I don't like how henpecked he is a little bit. I, I kind of want... But then again, I kind of think that uh, she's just reading with the emotions, and uh, I think CD Projekt Red kind of have to do a kind of... I don't know, kind of like a... What can I say? Like a, a retcon of the entire thing. Kind of to jumble a few stories and characters along the way. 
Because Yennefer and Geralt have like, I mean, Geralt, Yennefer has cheated on Geralt many times. It's like, and Geralt has cheated on Yennefer many times. So it's, it's pointless. And the friend betrayed us both. She betrayed us both. She never told me about, never told, Tris never told. Yeah, anyway, you know the story. I'm, <laughs> I'm mad on Yennefer. She's cool. And uh, I'm going to say thank you very much. Uh, for this lovely video I'm putting out there and for yourselves to come on and watch it. Thank you very much. Next episode, we're going to be uh, talking to this lovely dude around the corner here who's taking a page or uh, writing a note to whoever. And then we're going to go off, uh, hopefully, to uh, the new um, little location, do a few quests there, and uh, yeah, that's going to be uh, the next episode. So thank you very much for watching this one. TTFN, thank you very much, and bye-bye.